The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Seventh chapter, text number three, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 9th of August, 1974, in Vrindavan, India. Translation Out of many thousands among men, one may endeavor for perfection, and of those who have achieved perfection, hardly one knows me in truth. Manishanam Sahasrishu Kastit Jatati Siddhai Jatatam Api Siddhyanam Kastit Maang Bhakti Tat To understand Krishna in truth, not superficially, but in fact, that we can understand, as Krishna says in the beginning of this chapter, Maya Sakta Manapratha Yugam Junyan Madasraya Asangsang Samadrang Maam Jathaya Jaisya Sri Tatsina. How Krishna is truth, the absolute truth, although the absolute truth is described in three phases in the Srimad Bhagavatam, just like Badanti Tat Tattva Vidas Tattam. This Tattva, here it is said, Tattva. The truth, absolute truth is called Tattva. So Badanti Tat Tattva Vidas Tattam. Tattva Vid. Vid means knowledge. Vidti Vid of Vidya Jnana. One who has got complete knowledge is called Vid. Tattva Vid. So Tattva Vid, they are certain the Tattva, the truth in three ways. Badanti tat tattva vidas tattam. Yad jnanam adhyam. So knowledge of the truth is non-dual. Absolute means non-dual. No relative. Absolute. Adhyaya. So what is that Adhyaya? Brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavaniti sabdha. So to approach Krishna, to understand, one has to go through the Brahmagya, Brahmeti, then Paramatma, Paramatma Gya, then Krishna Gya. Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavaniti, Sabdati. So, generally, those who are inquiring about the Absolute Truth, they come to the point of Brahmagya. Brahmagya. Then if one makes further advance, then he can understand Paramatmagya. Paramatmagya means the all-pervasive personality of God, a localized aspect. Ishara sarva bhutanam vidyese vajjunatis. That is Paramatmagya. First of all, Brahmagya, then Paramatmagya, then Bhagavad Gyan. Bhagavan iti Sandhat. That Bhagavan is Krishna. Krishna stu Bhagavan Sayam. Vaishadjasya Samagrasya. Vijasya. Jasasya Sriya. Gyan Bhairagaya Sriva Bhaga iti Sandhat. One who has complete in position. All well. Vaishadjya. Samagrasya. All. Samagras, one of the items of becoming Bhagavan. Nowadays there are so many Bhagavans, so-called Bhagavan. But this is the first step. Vaisadjasya samagras, whether you possess all the wealth. Oh, who can say so? There a person is living by begging and is claiming to become Bhagavan. That is not the definition of Bhagavan. Bhagavan must possess all the wealth, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhokkaram Jagatavasam Sarvaloka Mahesha. I am the proprietor of the all the planetary system, all the lokas, all the universe. Actually, that is the fact. So one who is begging for his livelihood, he is claiming I am Bhagavan. Just see. They do not know what is Bhagavan. These rascals who unnecessarily, unceremoniously claiming to become Bhagavan, they do not know what is Bhagavan. Bhagavan is described in the Brahma Sangita 
जस्त निश्चित काल मथावलंब जीवंती लोम बिलजा जगदनाथा विष्णु महान सयज कला विशेष गोविंद मादि गुरुसम तमाम दिस इज वन ऑफ द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ भगवान गोविंद कृष्णा इज गोविंद सो गोविंद आदि पुरुषम इज ओरिजिनल प्राइम बाय लॉर्ड ईश्वर परम कृष्ण सच्चिदानंद विग्रह अनादि आदि गोविंद सर्व कारण कारण सो दिस भगवान देर आर एक्सपेंशन ऑफ भगवान अद्वैत अच्युत अनादि अनंत रूपम भगवान हैज गॉट अनलिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ एक्सपेंशन इट इज स्टेट इज जस्ट लाइक यू कैनॉट काउंट इन द रिवर हाउ मेनी वेव्स आर फ्लोइंग similarly you cannot count the moon how many expansions are there of bhagavan so one of the expansion of bhagavan is mahavishnu jashahi kala vishesh vishnu mahan sahiya jash kala vishesh kala vishesh means kala means part of the expansion not direct expansion but part of the expansion that is called kala angsha kala Angsha means direct expansion, and kala means expansion of the angsha. So the Mahavishnu is described as kala vishesha, an expansion of the angsha. Second thing, and what is that Mahavishnu? The jasai ka nisheshita kala mathavalamma jivanti loma vilaja jagadanna nasa. Jagadanna means this universe. There are millions and millions of universes. This is only one universe. This universe, what we are saying, this is only one. There are millions. This information we get also from the Vedic literature. Jasya prabha prabhavato jagadanna koti koti su asesu basudhadi vibhuti bhinnam tad brahma nishkalam anantam asesu bhutam. गोविंद मादि पुरुषम तमहंग भया जस प्रभा दिस ब्रह्म ज्योति ब्रह्म ज्ञान इज जस्ट लाइक द रेज द सन साइन इज द रेज ऑफ द सन ग्लो सिमिलरली द रेज ऑफ द बॉडी ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनलिटी ऑफ गॉड एट इज ब्रह्म ज्योति एंड विद आट ब्रह्म ज्योति देर आर इन्यूमरेबल यूनिवर्सेस तो इन ईच यूनिवर्स We are giving the picture in our title, Baba, or Sumad Bhagavatam. So, in each universe there are innumerable planets. In this way, this is a partial expansion, partial exhibition of Krishna that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Atma bahu nahi te na kinge te na tavaj. Bishtobhya aham ekamsi na sito jagat. Ekanshena, this whole, all the universes, they are simply partial exhibition of the partial expansion of Krishna. This we can see through the Kalam of Tham. In this way, you have to study Krishna. Not that Krishna was born in his maternal uncle's house at Mathura, and he played with the gopis and cowherd boys. That is actual fact, but one should understand Krishna how great he is. That is called tattva. Manusha nam sahasya su kachchi jato visiddha jato dhamma visiddha nam kachchi bhakti mam tattva. They simply superficially study Krishna, therefore they cannot understand how great is Krishna. In the Western world, they say God is great, but One should understand how great he is. That is tapo. Otherwise, we shall be misled. We cannot understand Krishna. Abhijananti mana mura manasin tanu asita. The rascals fools asses. Mura means asses. They deride Krishna. Oh, Krishna, I understand. What is that? Not like that. Therefore, Krishna says, "Manusanam sahasya." Out of many, many millions of persons, first of all, let him become siddha. Siddha means perfect. 
Everyone is imperfect. Everyone commits mistake. This is imperfection. Everyone commits mistake. Everyone becomes illusion. Everyone's sense perception are all imperfect. And everyone is a cheater. These are the deficiency of the conditioned soul. One does not know what is Krishna and he wants to become Krishna. I am God, I am Krishna. So this is cheating. Brahm Pramat Viprasha Karunapata. One should understand Krishna, what is Krishna? There are so many Vedic literatures to understand. Veda is the Sadvai Yahamaiva Vedam. If you are studying Vedas, if you are Vedantis, then ultimate knowledge will depend how we have understood Krishna. Vedishta sadvai ahameva veda. If you do not understand Krishna, what is the use of your studying Vedanta and Vedas? It is useless. Samaya vahi kevala. So, don't try to understand Krishna in that way. Generally, they understand Krishna very easily. They are called Sahajya. The Krishna was a young boy and he was joking with the gopis and dancing with the gopis and that is Krishna. We can imitate also. We can do also. This kind of understanding means he is a rascal, he is a fool. That is of course Krishna's one of the best times. But that is not this ordinary young boy and young girl's best time. No. That is Chinva. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa. That is Ananda Chinmaya Rasa. We have no understanding what is Ananda Chinmaya Rasa. We are accustomed to test this material Ananda. Sense gratification. Janamaitana Vigriha Medi Sukham Mitucham. Here in this material world, the Ananda is sex gratification. Sex intercourse. Maitra. This is most abominable ānanda. This is not ānanda. Although the whole world is mohita, tibhi gunoi bhāvai, mohita. This is ānanda. In the Western world we have seen even old men, seventy-five years old, eight years old, they are going to the naked dance club to sex ānanda. Because in the material world there is no ānanda except this. But in the Bhagavad-gītā you will find sukham ātantikam jatat otindriya grāyam. What is real ānanda that you have to test by your transcendental senses, not these senses, blunt senses. This is blunt senses, covered senses. There is no question of testing ānanda with these senses. There is no possibility. Ānanda is described just like it is said, ramante jogina anante. Jogina, those who are transcendentalists, above this material world, they also seeking after ānanda or tasting ānanda, ānanda chinmayaras, that is satyānanda, that is real ānanda. Ramante Jogina Anante, and there is no end of that Ananda. Nitya Navayamana, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has described, Chita Dattpana Mahajanam, Vam Mahadavarni Nidvapanam, Seya Kairava Chandrika Vitaranam, Vidyavadu Jeevanam, Anandambudhi Bardhan. Anandambudhi, we have no experience that Ambudhi, Ambudhi means the ocean, and Anandambudhi, the ocean of ānanda, bārdhāna, it is increasing. It is increasing. We have no experience that the sea or the ocean is increasing. It is decreasing. So, this is ānanda. Ramante jogina anante. That is ānanta ānanta. Ramante jogina anante satyānande chidātmani. That is not jarātma. Here this ānanda is jaro, dal. It is not ānanda. Material. But Chidatma, iti Rama Pade Nasu para Brahma iti avidhiya. These are the description. Rama means 
one who takes ānanda in the reality, not in the false. So this is the way of understanding Krishna. In the Chaitanya Chaitamrita it is said, Siddhanta Boliya Chitte Nakara Alas. Ya Haite Krishna Lage Sudira Manas. To understand Krishna in truth, do not be lazy. But I have understood. What you have understood? Therefore, we fall down. One should understand, therefore, to understand Krishna in truth, one has to devote studying Srimadha Bhagavatam nine cantos. In the tenth canto, Krishna is described. Because first of all, become fit to understand Krishna. That is called tattva. So, Srimadha Bhagavatam is there. Uh, Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevaya Janmardasya Jataha Annayati Tatatasthati Suvavigna Sarat. Try to understand Krishna in truth, not superficial. Of course, the ultimate goal is to understand Krishna's pastimes in Vidnava. Gopi Bhavara Samrita Abhik. But that, first of all, you become Siddha. Without becoming Siddha, you cannot understand. So long you are Asiddha, imperfect, you cannot understand Krishna. But if you try, if you associate with the Siddha, satang prasangatma vabhidya sangmila bhavanti ritkanna rasayana katha, you have to associate, just like in the morning, muni bhi mahatma bhi, you have to understand Krishna in the association of Mahatma. And who is Mahatma? Mahatma Anusumangkasa Devi Prakriti Mahasrita. Mahatma is not in this material world. He is in the spiritual world. Devi Prakriti Mahasrita. Ajanti, as a result, is always engaged in devotion and service of Krishna. That is Mahatma. So, Krishna said, that it is not very easy to understand Krishna. People understand Krishna very easy. That is, they are called sahajya. Everything takes very easy. So, manushanam sahasya. Manushana. There are 400,000 species of manusha. 400,000. Jatu lakhani mats. Jalajana lakhani sthavara lakhavi nishati krimaya rudra sankaka. There are statements in the Padma Puran, how many living entities forms are there. So out of eight million four hundred thousand different forms and species, there are four hundred thousand species of manusha. So out of that, one who is born in India is first class manusha. That's a fact. Unfortunately we are missing the chance. Therefore Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says Bharat Bhumite Manusha Janma Hailaja. So, those are Indians present here should know that after many pious activities, one gets birth in India, Bharat Bhumite. They should try to understand Krishna. There is facility, there are sastras, Krishna personally speaks, Bhagavad Gita. Vyasdev speaks about Krishna in the Samadha Bhagavatam. We are neglecting. We have become so rascal and fools. This is not India's business to imitate how economic development. Money, money, money. This is not India. India's business is to understand Krishna. Atata Brahma Jigyasa. That is India's business. These Americans and Europeans have come here. Not to see how much you are economically developed, industrially developed. They have got enough of this. Enough. More than enough. They don't care for it. The modern young men, they do not like. They are fed up. They have come here to understand Krishna. They have come here to understand Krishna. Manishanam Sahasri Sukhati Jatusridhaya. Therefore, we are trying to construct this center. Uh, let everyone come all over the world, and it is the India's business to understand what is Krishna and help them. 
That is India's business. It is very serious movement, Krishna consciousness movement. On this platform, the whole world can be united. It is not ordinary movement. Only on the basis of Krishna consciousness. Try to understand Krishna. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.